National News with Lisa LaFlamme. Reporting tonight, Omar Sachedina. Good evening, everyone. The winter weather that battered parts of Canada and the U.S. today turned deadly on a highway in Ontario. Two separate collisions in the same area involving multiple cars and a dozen tractor trailers left one person dead. The crashes shut down Highway 401 near Brockville, where a smashed transport truck spilled a highly toxic substance. It happened during whiteout conditions in a storm that affected 70 million people on either side of the border, with over 6,000 flights cancelled. Tonight, Ontario police say the driver who was killed was in the truck carrying that toxic material. CTV's Kevin Gallagher has more on the deadly storm. Ice and snow resulted in a chain reaction of twisted metal, blocking both directions of the country's busiest highway near Gananoque, Ontario. Just whiteout conditions and uh, slippery roads, and I slid in the back of a trailer, and uh, somebody slid in the back of me. I got five kids at home, so they all flash in front of you. Toxic materials spilled out of an overturned transport truck. We have uh, contained the situation now. Uh, there's no risk to any of our residents. 29 people were taken to hospital. 13 of those were first responders who received decontamination treatment as a precaution. So we were running them under the hose, getting them all rinsed off, making sure they were totally clear of the chemicals. Safety concerns kept people in their cars on the snow-covered highway for hours. Once hazmat crews gave the all clear, the treacherous weather provided another roadblock. We're coming from Ottawa trying to get St. Catharines. Looks like we're going to be spending the night somewhere. The late winter storm also behind this 50-car pileup in Quebec. Somehow, only minor injuries reported. This massive winter system is bearing down on Atlantic Canada next, a part of the country, Omar, that's already seen its share of winter damage.